Morning, morning. This is your girl Martha here. Today I'm just woken up and I am here to to share what the thought and the think I will share this video in one of my weekly vlogs. So I woke up thinking um of something. So why do you think that some other people achieve things you can't achieve? We have the same hands, we have the same head, we have feet. Um, even if some people do not have those body parts, but they're able to do something somebody else can do. Why do you think so? So I've been trying to question my conscience, wondering why some people succeed and others don't. And what came to my mind is that could they be doing things differently? What could be happening in this situation? And definitely, I think people who succeed more than the others could be doing things differently. Or people could be having the same opportunities, but they're using them differently. So it gets me to think that no matter where you are, start from where you are with what you have to get something you want to dream of sometimes i think we live in the mind the mind tells us you cannot do this you can't travel you can't um make money and then you believe the mind this silly mind plays games but it's up to you and me to be in control of this mind and then when you control of this mind you're able to move your body. You're able to move yourself to achieve things that you don't want to achieve. I will give you an example. I've been procrastinating on doing an assignment. And I'm, I'm never like that. But it was just one of those days or weeks. And I was like, God, you always ace your things. What really happened? Is this fear? Like, I gave that fear a test fear tested me and i gave in to fear and it never happened and when i opened my laptop to do the text i mean it was just a few bullet points that i even asked in less than an hour and submitted i'm here to submit so it challenged me that <coughs> sorry that we stand in the face of opportunities and yet we have a chance to beat ourselves from those things that are hindering us from achieving that's what they say procrastination is a thief of time and opportunities i learned that in 2016 when i had finished university i had a first class degree i was on the streets of kampala walking day and night looking for opportunities i went into marketing I was used, I was, uh, my skill was used, I wasn't paid, I wasn't rewarded until I sat down one day and I thought to myself, Martha, wake the hell up. The mind is playing with you. You may not have a job where you're sitting on a desk, but you can use the skills that you have. Start from where you are. I sat myself down and realized that I had done literature at my year levels. I have a good command in speech, in writing, in editing, in proofreading whatsoever. I'm like, okay, I did literature. Went ahead, did my bachelor's in social work. And it was in English. I can't comprehend. I'm like, you can use that skill because you're passionate about writing, reading. And that's when I started virtual assistant services. Yes. Mal is a consult. So I used what I had at that time. And at this time, I still use it. Sometimes the opportunities are not far away from us. We don't need capital. We don't need the money. But you need to realize, first thing, realize the potential that you have, that you are able to succeed using the fewer resources that you have you could see the resources as few and you will be shocked today i woke up and watched 
I watched a video of my former lecturer meeting one of the village boys from Ghana with the Maya. I'm like, oh my God, this is Grace Borgi. She's she has met this Mr. Ghana baby with the Maya, and I'm I'm pleased I was inspired to make this video because she was my lecturer at university and towards the end of the year she taught us one of the course units was entrepreneurship i do remember that i passed that course and even so before i started doing my small businesses different uh, uh income streams down there in kampala i i remembered what my lecturer told me so seeing her and following her to this date what she does with farming it really inspired me that a course when i was finding what opportunities do i have what skills do i have i remember that i did an entrepreneurship course in my third year of university at chambago chambago university with that same lady that who is now thriving and shining and when i said i can transfer those budgeting skills we learned those saving skills we learned from that course unit is when i started saying yes everything started coming into sense so i'm here to encourage you if you are wondering what opportunities do you have I tell you, there are so many opportunities that you have and you need to take advantage of them. You need to take advantage of them. Sometimes the mind plays games. And you know how it plays games? Scrolling on the internet. You will scroll on the internet and you will see people succeeding and you will admire them. But then you do not have the power you, or you don't have the zeal to wake up. But you keep scrolling on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok admiring those people remember as you admire them they are being paid then when i realize that every time i scroll they are being paid i'm like what am i doing for myself i see many people they spend lots of days on social media live videos by the end of the day they're not making any money from it but somebody who is there and they're making money from it i do respect them because i know they're not stupid i know they know what they are doing you know, this message came to me this morning and I, that's why I am so, so I'm still in my bed. But the wisdom that is flowing, the inspiration that is flowing this morning after watching something inspirational, that's how I always start my days. I will not start my days through negative talk like you do. I start by inspiring myself, watching, seeing something like on such a day where I don't have to move out. Really, I can work from home, do everything I need to do from home. I said, I just encouraged myself and I'm like, yes, girl, you can do it. You can do it. No matter what this mind tells you, you can move your body, your soul, and you can be in control of your mind. This mind lies a lot. That's why people who succeed, honestly speaking, they get to beat the negative thoughts the mind brings to them. If you're watching this video, I want you to let me know how your mind has played games on you and how you've been, a been able to be in control of your mind. So today, I want to inspire you. I want to inspire everybody out there if you feel that you are on the verge of losing track in your life, in your career, in your marriage, in your relationship, in your today life. Just think, sit down and think of, of the good potential that you have in you and how best you can tap into it. Sometimes we think about money. It's not all about money. It's all about first realizing the potential that you have. When you have the potential, you have a driving force. Your eyes are able to open and you see the opportunities ahead of you and you go grab those opportunities. So today, I just want to say, be inspired. Go out into the world. Achieve by achieving everybody you know. Be inspired, but let this mind not play games because it has tried to play games on me and i'm telling you little mind i know you're great i know i know you do a lot to me little mind but i'm in control of my thoughts 
because it's those thoughts that become things. It's the thoughts that become as ideas and high ideas, like Mark Zuckerberg said. I, ideas do not come fully formed, but they form along the way. So I want to inspire you that let your ideas get fully formed along the way, but be in control of your mind. It's good, but then it can also be dangerous. So make sure you don't live in your mind. And I think I'll be making a full-on video on how things to help us not to live in the mind so i love you all and i wish you a lovely day you know what you could all go back to your own business your day your love life whatever you're doing i want to wish you all the best as you go back to your business and also go back to my business but consider subscribing to this youtube channel if this video has brought a lot of inspiration to you your girl martha hey comment subscribe and let me know how you have overcome the little voices in your mind that are telling you not to do the things that you're supposed to i love you